Hello guys, Pet the Trends here and today I'm going to discuss something about my Canon G4010. It's a 4-in-1 printer. You can use it to scan, to fax, to photocopy or to print whatever documents you want it to print. So this afternoon, I'm going to share something about the quality of the photocopy document of our Canon G4010. And for you to find out, keep watching! Hello guys, Pet the Trends here and today I'm going to feature something on my Canon G4010. It's a 4-in-1 printer. You can use it to fax, to photocopy, to print, and to scan documents. So for tonight, I'm going to share something about the quality of the photocopied material. So let's find out if what's the difference of the outcome or the output of a photocopy document when we are going to use the ABF this one or when we are going to use the platinum glass so let's find out if when we're going to use the platinum glass would it give us a better photocopied result or we will find out if the ABF when we're going to use the ABF will give us the best result of a photocopied material so today i'm going to photocopy this one it's a short size a4 size paper so this is printed in a black and white and it's already grayish so as you can see it's already grayish right so this time we are going to photocopy this one using the adf so this is our adf so the adf is this one so right here when we're going to use this one we could print or we could scan or photocopy documents that are in any sizes like A4, short, or legal size. So this time, let's try to photocopy this one. So let's place this one on the ABF right there. Okay, you hear the beep, so it means the paper is just up to that point. So let's fit this one. We could move this one. Okay, so this is the ADF. So right here, we could adjust this one so it will fit. Okay, so it's now fit. And then, what we need to do is, we need to set the printer into photocopy mode. So this is the scanning button. And this is the photocopy button. This is the fax button. This is the settings and the menu. So let's choose the photocopy so let's click the photocopy button and click out on the screen so once we click this one it will say copy mode so we are now in the copy mode and be sure that the size is a4 since this is a4 so we don't need to change the size okay so it is already said that we are going to photocopy just one um, one page or we are going to photocopy just one piece only okay so but if you're going to photocopy more than one so you just need to change this one into example like you want 10 pieces of this one so you just need to type one and zero now it is set to 10 but we are just going to photocopy just one so that's it and right here we're going to choose if we're going to photocopy it in black or colored but since this is black and white so we just need to choose the black color but remember guys if you're going to photocopy in colored so it takes time and it's much um, it takes time it's just like printing the um, document because Canon G4010 is more accurate on pictures and colors so when you're going to photocopy or print using the Canon printers it will consume time not too much 
it depends on how many sheets of paper you're going to print in color but the aim of Canon is to give best quality pictures when it is in colored format so expect that it will be taking time you know but this time okay let's try to photocopy it in black remember what we're going to discuss in this part is the quality if we're going to use the AVF or the platinum glass so let's find out what's the difference in the quality of the paper okay so ready so let's click the black button okay so right on the screen you can see the details that it's copying in black and we'll photocopy only one sheet okay so right now it's already printing the black uh -huh. so this is the um, this is the output of a photocopied document using the ADF so this is our original copy so the this is the original copy and this is the photocopied item so the cat there is no difference so usually when we're going to photocopy material so the photocopied item should be more grayish but look at the quality look at the quality of the text so it has the same color it has the same quality it's just it just seems like it's not a photocopy material it's like a printed material so this is the good thing about using canon you know printers it has a good quality in text in colors and this is much better because you know sometimes there are photocopiers that are you know it's somewhat there's black part on the side or something like um, not clear copy so this looks good nobody will know that it's a photocopied item but it really is so it looks like a printed material so this is the good thing about the Canon but we're not done yet so this is the quality of the photocopied item using the ABF now let's try using the platinum glass so we already used this one and we're going to use the platinum glass okay so it's already set to photocopy so we just need to click here the black so let's click it and let's find out the quality when we're going to use the platinum glass okay so we're done so this is the quality when we're going to use the platinum glass Mm -hmm. so the quality are just the same see so it looks good but actually when we're going to use the um when we're going to use something like um, colored materials not just black and white when we're going to use the platinum glass it takes um, um it uses more ink and it will give us more um good results of the printed material because it has a light underneath and it will help give us the best photocopied item so right now let's try to photocopy this one it's a you know it's emotional and it's in grayish color right so let's try to photocopy this mojo using the platinum glass so look at the mojo it is somewhat um grayish so let's find out if 
the Canon G4010 will give us also a grayish output when we're going to use the platinum class. So let's open and let's get this one. And then let's place the module right here. And okay, let's cover. And all right, so let's click the black. Okay, so this is the output and let's check and compare all right so this is the output and this is the original one so that's it for today see you